Roll out the cosmic carpet today. We're unlocking the energies of this very special week with a new moon coming in and 10 portal days that we're going through, meaning the whole week is going to be portal days. And I want to do that to help you blossom into your best self. Aloha, my wonderful soul. My name is May and I am a, I like to call myself a cyber witch or also di digital empath, <laughs> but mainly you know, coach, energy coach for empaths. And I guide sensitive and empathic business leaders through a transformative journey, combining Hawaiian philosophy with shamanic energy work. And by doing so, I help you to not only manage the energies in your environment, but also to tap into your deepest self-awareness, leading to a powerful realization of your true potential and divine light. And I do that. One of the things that I use to do that is these weekly readings to help you get an idea of how the energies are working for you, with you, you know, at the moment so that you could use that for yourself. And for that, I also talk about, you know, the um, the energies happening, you know, with things like portal days or, you know, retro months going, uh, planets going retrograde and things like that because they help us. So I'm going to be doing... You know, usually these these card readings, I'm I'm trying to do them in a way that at first you get an idea of how the energies are in general, you know, meaning special days that we're going to have, like at the moment with the 10 portal days that we're going to be, I'll, I'll talk about this a little bit later, you know, and of that. And then we dive into the reading. And for every reading, I have also one deck for for personal messages that you can choose. And I'm going to ask you. Um, to choose between either this wonderful Palo Santo, my wonderful little yellow shell that I have here, and my little marble stone that I have here. So for those of you watching who can see, otherwise you'll know the ones listening in. So we have the Palo Santo on the left, a yellow shell in the center, and my marble stone on the right-hand side that are going to help you choose your personal message and we'll do that when we dive in when we bring you know spirit energy into you know supporting us here with what we're doing here um yeah but before we get started with everything i want to invite you to a very special hmm, four i'm going to call it a four-week program called heal by joanne hunter i'm not sure if you've heard of her she's a wonderful and beautiful, um, intuitive teacher, um, especially, you know, knowing a lot of quantum physics and, and those beautiful, wonderful things. So, so she teaches in, on a way with the whole woo, like we like to say, you know, the spiritual part, but also on a level that our brain also understands and gets to learn certain things. And she has a wonderful program called Heal. It's a four-week program to help you heal, especially you know, those wounds that we carry with ourselves that have to do with us, you know, with the abundance, because it's sometimes it's so hard for us to really create abundance in our lives. And I feel that that program that she has created is so beautiful, magical. I've been part of it. And I just want to share that one with you. So you'll find the link to that program down below um, in the show notes as well. So my beautiful ones, let's get started. And I think I want to get started with showing you the general energies first before we invite our spirit guides. So I'm going to go into the presentation mode. Give me a sec. I will get you there. Let's look at it. Here it is, my wonderful ones. For the week of February 5th, we're going to get started with, we have here, as you can see, we have February, it's still the series of portal days as per the Mayan calendar, inviting us to introspective and heightened, heightened sensitivity. These days are ideal for deep meditation and understanding one's subconscious mind. So right now, it's a very good time to connect yourself with your, you know, your wonderful energy that, you know, that is happening right now. So if you have a lot of triggering moments, please take a deep breath. Try to find mindful moments for yourself, like little islands of moments that you can create for yourself so that you can, you know, catch your breath and connect yourself with 
yourself. The more you do that, the better for yourself. All right. Because it's, it's, I know it's not easy, but you know, it's a very good time for healing. I always love portal lace and especially the 10, you know, the 10 ones, even though they're very hard sometimes. Um, and this again, this could be like, maybe for you, it was last week or maybe for some other system that's next week. Cause when they come in a block, they tend to have a very big radius, meaning, you know, sometimes they radiate to, to the front, meaning you've, you've already passed it, then you're fine. Or maybe sometimes they radiate to the back. That's also another thing, or you, they might not even radiate for you because the upgrades that we're receiving right now are not necessary for you anymore because maybe you've already received them, right? So um, I know that's a little, just, so, and the reason why I'm telling you this way, it's because every one of us um, experiences those things in a different way. And the reason why I'm telling you is because I remember when I was, you know, starting with my whole empath journey, getting to understand my empathic power, it was helpful to know when the energies were stronger so that I was ready in case things were, you know, could come up, but not in a way to frighten myself, but just to be aware. I hope that's understandable. So please understand, I'm not trying to, you know, uh, try to make you believe, you know, that, that there's something scary happening. No, it's not. It's just, it's transformative time. And I think I read it actually from the one that actually created or found the portal days um, that he said that the best thing we can do is create, you know, think of every day being a portal day because every day has teaching moments for us and healing moments. All right. So that I know, I know that's a little bit to the portal days, but I find it always very, very important to repeat and to, to remind us of that. And here we have on February 9th, we have a super new moon. This is when the new moon is at its closest approach to earth, making it appear slightly larger than usual. It's an excellent time for setting new intentions and starting fresh projects. All right, so that's a very important part that we need to know. And the second one is that I wanted to share with you because later on we're going to have the micro full moon, meaning I'm going to explain that one when we get there. And it's offering us a unique opportunity for both beginning of new endeavors and celebrating the culmination of ongoing projects. All right. So let be on the lookout for yourself. Whatever new endeavors you have, February is the month, you know, to get started. That's why, I mean, it's the dragon year if we go into the Chinese calendar. All right. So these things are going to help us achieve what we want to achieve. All right. So that's that part with that we have there. And yeah, for us, my wonderful ones, let's get started by calling in, ah, calling in our wonderful spirit guide. So take the time for you. If you haven't chosen which one is going to be your, your uh, personal messages, take a moment, take a deep breath. You know, use this time where I invoke our support to choose which of the ones are going to be your delivering your personal messages. And please keep in mind, it might not, it might be more than one. I like to add that one because sometimes we feel like it can only be one, but no, sometimes we need double two message decks or even three sometimes. All right. So for that, take a deep breath, concentrate, focus, and I'm going to call in. Our spirit guides, Father Heaven, Mother Earth, wonderful beings out there that are supporting us. Ah, oh, the elements of the four directions. Mm, our power animals. Aloha. Our wonderful ancestors mm, coming in. Thank you so much for joining us and for being part of, a, of this reading today. Help us understand help me have the right words for everybody listening in and tuning in and for you tuning in help them listen and hear the right words that they're going to be needing for the week of february 5th 2024 oh so grateful for this all right let's get started with this week's reading my wonderful souls as you can see up here we have this is for the new moon, this is for the portal days, this is for the general card for all of us for this week. And these are the personal ones down here. 
Um, I know they look very cray cray and actually they wanted me to do it a little bit different. So I'm going to do it a little bit different because they want me to start with the general cards today. So these are going to be important. I hope the light is helping us. I'm trying to practice those for those of you watching. Please bear with me and hopefully I can, you know, we can make this work. And for those of you listening, you're going to hear the full of it. <laughs> all right, let's get started with the general cards. So these are the general cards for all of us. And we get started with this wonderful affirmation. I'm in awe of the magnificent guidance that's available to me. Look at this wonderful message. I'm in awe of the magnificent guidance that's available to me. All right. I feel like... There's no need other than to repeat this sentence because I think it's important for us to know. I'm in awe of the magnificent guidance that's available to me. All right, so it's a good time for us to listen to what's happening there. Allow yourself to be guided by the energies that are there. All right. Wonderful. And the next card we're having here, by the way, all the cards that we have are down below you'll find them all there including these uh, these little ones that are my personal ones that were created with the help of my Hawaiian teacher um, and are now available for you in my Etsy store to print out for yourself at home live your life as the card that's coming don't be passive take care of things start to create visualize and feel live your life I love this card because it came to me with the sentence uh, you know, live your life. Don't let life live you. All right. So don't be passive. Take care of things. Start to create, visualize and feel. All right. It's about time for us not just to, you know, like it says here, start to create, visualize and feel. So it's about visualizing, feeling, but also to do the first steps. All right. Because it's one thing to be there and be dreaming all the time. And it's another to actually get up and start doing, all right? So this is actually confirming the energies that I just mentioned for the month of February being out there. Then we have this beautiful water guardian helping us connect with your emotions. My wonderful ones, it's about connecting to your emotions, connect to the feelings that are out there because they want to tell you something, all right? Connect with your emotions because they are your guidance. All right, if something doesn't feel right, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> all right, and the last card that we have here is Mother Mary, love and peace. Let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. So this is, wow, so this is our ancestors confirming with us, you know, if there is something on the mother's side, on the female side of your family that needs healing that needs to you know that needs some some sort of healing from that side you know this is basically telling you right now is the time to go into that all right so this is something that might show up wow beautiful i think it's a beautiful start but again this is just a start with the general cards let's move on to the cards that we're receiving from the portal days and let's see what we have here. From the portal days, from these 10 days that we're having, basically the seven ones, we have learn from spiritual experience with the great teacher. All right, learn from spiritual experience, meaning what kind of spiritual experiences have you had that might show up again? You know, sort of like, oh, remember how I solved that challenge last time? Maybe, you know, this is something here. Mm, and learn from the spiritual experiences that you are having. Again, this is, oh, I love when this, I don't know why this is coming up like this, but I'm telling you because you know how we try to manifest things sometimes? And the thing, what we do is that we, we don't realize that we're actually doing it all the time. All right. And sometimes it's necessary for us to realize when am I manifesting something that I actually don't want to have? Right. And that's why I love the spiritual experience here, because you know how you want to manifest something. But the rest of the day, you're focused on your lack. You're focused on what you're not having. You're focused on that. So, you know, if 
80% of the day, your energy is in lack. How are you going to manifest with the 20% that you do practice, right? So see that, you know, where are you maybe generating an energy of something that actually that you don't want anymore? All right, that's so important. So that's another thing here. And the next card that we have from the portal uh, days is I feel my way into faith one step at a time. I feel my way into faith one step at a time. All right. So how can you feel your way into faith? How can you get closer to faith? What can you do to become more faithful? Of, I mean, look at the, you know, here we, with the general cards, we already have it. The guidance is already there. It's about you taking one step closer to being in that faith of that guidance that you already have. All right. And last but not least here, we have Krishna with devotion. And I always like it when this one comes up because it's about trust your spiritual guidance. Here we go again. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. All right, so it's about the devotion that you have to your own personal and spiritual growth. And you're having here your spiritual experience. Learn from the spiritual experience. When have your spirit guides been there for you? Remember how they have always been there for you, all right? And how they have always helped as much as they were allowed to do with in, within your energy field, right? So trust in your spiritual guidance that you have and trust in the commitment that you have towards yourself. Because sometimes we feel like, oh, my God, you know, this is not working or, you know, like how much more do I have to do? But, hey, it's about the commitment that you put into everything that you do. All right. And the energy that comes up with that. Beautiful. All right, and here we go from the new moon that we're having, our wonderful new moon coming up here with the message, allow some aloha. Allow yourself to accept the gifts that you receive out of love from yourself or others. Allow yourself to accept the gifts that you receive out of love from yourself or others. And I love this because, you know, aloha, allow some aloha is a beautiful sentence that I learned on Hawaii because it was, you know, like, hey, how often do you have friends, family, you know, anyone that you know that is trying to give you a gift, a present, something for you to have and something and, and you know, just because you're, I don't know, I, we have so many different reasons why we won't accept certain gifts. Um. And I know that especially for empaths, it's hard to allow someone else to help us. We have this way of, you know, not doing it. And this card is reminding us, hey, you're allowed to allow that aloha, those gifts from others, because it's their way of showing you love. All right. It's their way of showing you love. And again, and, you know, one of the things that had to come into this card was out of love from yourself or others, because again, how many gifts can are you denying yourself that you could give yourself? I know there's so many yourselves in there, but I don't know why this, you know, this example is coming up, but how often do you deny yourself to say no or to set a boundary or to allow yourself just to have a day of doing nothing, right? And you don't because you feel like you're not allowed to receive that gift. And this is a reminder to look into that, all right? From the new moon. Wow, imagine that, a super new moon. And here we go. See, with the presence, it's good to feel good. The card is telling us, is giving us, it's good to feel good. So you're allowed to do that. Beautiful. I, I feel like there's not much more to say that. Allow yourself to feel good. It's like a confirmation of what we just had. And last but not least, from the new moon, the shaman trust in higher forces. Look at this. We have three different decks and all three are telling us to trust in higher forces, to trust in the guidance that is out there. All right. So that is so important for all of us. I really like this. This is beautiful. <laughs> all right. So it's about keeping the trust out there. 
All right, let's move on to the personal messages. And if the Palo Santo was yours, then let's look into that. And the, these are your personal messages. I know they look all different because they want to me. They, I, I wasn't allowed to go normal this time. <laughs> so the first one that you have, my beautiful soul, for you is unlimited. You are a boundless, energetic being. And remember this power within you. You are a boundless, energetic being. Remember that, all right? Unlimited. And I don't know why the song Unstoppable keeps coming in my mind when I see this card, but it's out there. I just said it. <laughs> the second card for you is the Heart Guardian. Love and let yourself be loved. Doesn't this feel like a little confirmation of the card that we just had with allow yourself to receive your aloha. Love and let yourself be loved. Allow yourself to receive the love. All right. Yeah, I feel like that's it. No, no more messages with that one. That's the, you know, like how sometimes messages are just there. And here we have Magic Guardian. Unlock the magic within. Yes, my wonderful soul. Unlock the magic that you have inside of you. All right, bring that out. You're an amazing being. Bring that energy, that magic inside of you out. All right. Perfect. If you chose this wonderful, beautiful shell, then these are your messages. And let's see what we have for you. We are starting with, I let an inner sense of quiet multiply each day as I strengthen my faith in the love of the universe. I let the inner sense of quiet multiply each day as I strengthen my faith in the love of the universe. The inner sense of quiet. Mm, I love when this comes up. Ah, and I'm reminded of a wonderful interview that I did with a coaching colleague of mine. And I remember her, her unfortunately it's in German, otherwise I would, I would, you know, tell you to get it. Um, but it was a beautiful interview where she spoke about getting that connection You know, the more we find that silence in ourselves, the more we realize how loud that silence can be. And that is so good connected with all the messages that we just received here. Because the more we learn to quiet that, those voices that are telling us to, that we're not good enough, that we're not worth it, that we're not doing things the right way, and that we should be afraid, and that we shouldn't be, the shoulds, the, we shouldn't be doing those things. The more we quiet them, the more we finally listen to that guidance that is out there. And that guidance is found in our inner sense of quiet. Mm, I love this for you. All right, so take this wonderful affirmation for you, my wonderful soul. I let an inner sense of quiet multiply each day as I strengthen my faith in love and the love of the universe. <sighs> Beautiful. All right, next card for you. We have a Simplify. One of my favorites. I actually made a shirt of it. Simplify because there's always an easier way for things, thoughts, and feelings. There's always an easier way for things, thoughts, and feelings. So allow yourself to make things more simple in your life. All right? And the third card for you is the sun. Enjoy success and happiness, my wonderful soul. Enjoy your success and happiness and celebrate it. I'm going to leave this one up here. Celebrate yourself because it's time to do so. All right. If you chose my wonderful marble stone, then this is your cards. These are your cards. And we're starting with the Miriam sacred vision. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. And remember that love has no boundaries. The Miriam with the sacred vision. I love it and a little bit, I'd like to add something because um, I know that sometimes forgiveness doesn't feel right. And in case it doesn't, please exchange that one with acceptance. I have noticed that one of the things that goes a little bit deeper sometimes than forgiveness is acceptance because 
accepting something or someone or some situation as it is allows us to release it in a different way. So just as an add-on to this one, choose to forgive or acceptance in order to heal. See the light in it and remember that love has no boundaries. Meaning love towards yourself is allowed to have no boundaries as well. All right? You're allowed to love yourself and you don't have to limit that to certain spaces. The second card that we have for you is the de-stress card. De-stress, reduce everything that causes stress and focus on the things that make you happy. All right, go into happiness mode, my wonderful soul. Follow what makes you happy. And the last card for you is the high priest. Intend and create. Intend and create. Intend and create. It's not allowing me. There you go. Intent and create. High priest. I like this one, and I'm and I'm and I'm repeating this one over and over because just for you to let it sink in. Intent and create. The more you set the right intentions for yourself the more you're going to be in the right energy. When you set an intention, it's going to get you right where you're supposed to be. Set the right intention, and then you will create. You will be the creator that you're supposed to be, my wonderful soul. Wow. Amazing. I feel the energies. This is, you know, this is not going to be, um, maybe not. Let's, let's leave it there. Let's try to make it simple. Let's make it easy for all of us. So I'm not going to add anything to that. Let's just feel into the week, be with ourselves, try to be connected, grounding. You know, I like to remind you of ground, grounding as often as possible. That's the best thing you can do. And for now, as always from my side, a huge gratitude for joining to, towards you for joining today's card party. <laughs> I hope you got some aha moments or felt the cards give you a boost. You know, send me a message or comment this video to let me know. I always like to know if, you know, and which of these cards really resonated with you and gave you a aha moment. I always love to see that. And if you have any questions, just, you know, contact me through my channels. I'd love to hear how you're feeling, how these cards are helping you. And the best support that I can get from you, of course, is always for you to either um, subscribe to my channel or subscribe to my podcast so that I can, you know, give the, pass this on to you more. And I'd like to finish with one quote. So I'm going to leave you, every time I leave you with one quote to just resonate into the week for you. Wishing you a wonderful week. I hope you have a wonderful week. And I'm leaving you with the wonderful words from Marcel Proust. The real voyage of discovery consists not in seeking new landscapes, but in having new eyes. The real voyage of discovery consists in not consists not in seeking new landscapes but in having new eyes